Hey, 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 viewers, guess what? We're gonna play some more Resident Evil 4. Oh, man, gonna get out of this saving screen. My data saved. That's good. That's real good. Okay. So, where were we? Oh, yeah, passed out on the floor like we're drunk or something. <laughs> Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Oh, man! Foreshadowing in the Hunnigan, and she missed us in an Osmus letter! Oh man, hidden item and falls to Ashley Church. Oh boy, El Gigante. Oh man, that sounds like a luchador or something. So God bless. How am I gonna face a luchador? We're gonna have to lay the smack down. Cause I'm Leon with some mad kicks. That bed is dirty. I don't want to sleep in it. I want to take the flashbang. Oh, they're gonna be useful viewers. Very, very useful. You want to hang on to your flashbangs. Sure, they sell for 500, you know, just whatever. They sell for some gold, some money. I'm not even gonna pronounce it because I can't. But, you know, we can sell for 500 or we can keep them. Very useful. They're gonna come into play soon enough, viewers. Also, fish! Now, unlike the last time, we can, you know, kill these fish. All of them. Every single last one of them. You can do that from, you know, the shore with your gun, or you can use the uh, much more cost-effective way of uh, using harpoons to, you know, hunt the great big bass. Yeah, just gonna take him on. The only problem with doing it this way is it's very difficult to control the boat, like, precisely go out just a little ways, just, just carefully inch over, and then you can pick it up. There you go. Oh boy, as if it wasn't bad enough that I'm trying to get it, I have to rearrange my inventory. Oh man, just gonna move this there, just gonna take this, move it over there, take this. Oh boy, oh man, finally, with enough luck and rearranging, you get the bass into your inventory. Now we go over to this blue lights. You know what that means, right? And if you don't, shame on you viewers. Just coming into the middle of the LP and not having played Resident Evil 4, having no idea what this means. God, what's wrong with you? You know what the blue fire means. Why is it even blue? How is that even physically possible? Does he use, like, sulfur or something? I know, like, there's chemicals that intentionally make fire a different color. I mean, that's what they do with fireworks, baby. Damn, how's Merchant Man do it? I like that, Merchant Man. I'm gonna start calling the Merchant, Merchant Man. He's like a rapper. It's like Method Man, except Merchant. Whatever, I don't even care. We're just gonna push some crates. Like we're Rebecca Chambers or something. But we're not! We're Leon Kennedy! I like Leon Kennedy, what can I say? He gets money and treasure and, oh boy, barrels! We're stuffing them. Oh man, what am I gonna do now? You know, maybe go to some key treasures and combine. Cause guess what? This gem right here you can actually combine it with the mask. Yeah, that'll sell for a lot better. But we need to complete it, man. It's got three indents. We got one filled. We got some rifle ammo. That's the point of coming back here and talking to the merchant. I mean, come on, we're got right some next rare to the things on sale, stranger. Oh, his what voice are you is buying? like ecstasy and cocaine. 
It's what heavenly. What are you selling? Oh. I love his voice. So smexy. Ah. I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Love ah. it. I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting my fill right now. It's it's delightful, like some Is sort of stranger. <laughs> like some Thank sort you. of rare dessert. Is that all, stranger? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What I are you probably buying? cut this out, but damn it, I love his voice too much. Okay. Unfortunately, that's really all we can do with the merchants. Just selling a lot of my stuff. I know I could upgrade my weapons, but um. I played this game too much to know that I want to save my money. Save it for some really important stuff that's going to be coming up. Sure, we can talk to him from here, but we're right next to him. Who doesn't want to be all up in the merchant man's face in space? I mean, I do. I do. I want to get as close to the merchant man as possible. He's amazing. I mean, come on. He's got the voice of angels. If they smoked ten packs of Marlboros and... An hour. I'd say a day, but no. His voice is just too manly. Anyway, so you can actually go back the way we did, and there's something that will happen if you do. I don't feel like doing that though. You'll get a, you'll get a cutscene. Uh, I, I like to think a lot of people do this out, but I'm sure a couple of people know about it. Specific cutscene, kind related to the one that we're going to get. Speaking of which, let's move onward. Let's make some progress. Let's do something. That would be good for everyone, right? Right? Okay. We're just gonna go through the double doors, make sure my gun is fully loaded, and we're gonna go see something terrifying. Imagery rise, it's, it's, it's about four. Uh, it's terrifying because uh, they just don't stay dead. Well, here's a secret to them. Flashbangs, instant kill. Oh man. Okay, so now doing headshots, not a great idea. You're gonna invoke that. Oh, and this guy's blinded, so you know, we can kill him. We can stab him. We can do the effective way of killing him. Oh yeah. Die, man. Oh my god, I just invoked it. Well, I guess that wasn't efficient after all. Now I have to kill it. I wanted to show you the easy way of taking them out. If you have a flashbang, not too bad. You actually have to do it the hard way. Okay. You gotta aim for the second head. The uh, head that is quite lethal, I might add. That thing is will kill you. And I mean, will kill you. Stay away. Have your distance. Shoot it if necessary. They will eat your bullets. It's not good. I hate these things. I will talk about from when they get revealed officially. I don't think it has been officially revealed, but maybe so. See how long that took? It took me quite a while. I do not enjoy it. I hate that guy. Why do you have to reveal the second head? Headshots are no longer a viable option, whereas before it was kind of an easy way to take care of enemies. Now it's just super annoying, and I don't, I don't prefer it. I, I don't like it. Uh, now it's like aim anywhere but the head because a uh, headshot's just going to make things worse. Oh man. I want to talk more about it, but I can't. I gotta move on. I gotta do this little puzzle thing. You know what would be a good idea now? Sniping. We can't really get a headshot as far as I know, but that's okay because I don't really want one anyways. I just wanna, I just wanna kill this guy. I just wanna make sure I have a good sight on this guy. Shoot him in the butt. Alright. And he's dead. Good. I don't know what happens if I keep him alive. All I know is that if I kill him, I have a much easier time trying to make my way through this little area. Which is probably good. I can't say for sure, but it's probably good. Don't need another... Don't need another episode where, you know, I was just going through the little swamp fire thing called fog. Everyone was ambushing me. Now, if I can avoid a conflict, I would love to avoid some conflict. Now, we have another small little puzzle. It's, uh, it's just a minor annoyance, really. But you see, we got these little wood crates. What you want to do is 
break them from their chase, let them float down the river, the creek, whatever. Just, you just gotta shoot them from their chase. It's actually pretty easy. I, I didn't do too bad. Didn't waste a whole lot of bullets. Makes me happy. Okay. So we just gotta get this one, and then we can actually cross this little waterway. And jump over. And we got some treasure. I should probably get a little bit closer. But, you know, I'll say. My aiming isn't too bad right now. Got a ring. Very good. I'm just gonna climb up. Take a drink. Crack a barrel. Get a herb. I think that's about all we can do right now for this little area, so we'll, I guess we can just progress. Not really bad, but whatever. I don't even care. It's, it's kind of that time where we have to anyway, so I'm just gonna climb up this ladder, pull this little lever, silence my alarm so it doesn't interrupt the recording because I gotta go to work soon. Get some gears turning. Block that off. Make it go in alternative routes. Open up a doorway. Go back down the way we came. Eventually. Actually, I'll be honest. I know what's coming up. I'm just I'm I'm searching to see if I can get a secret headshots. Doesn't look like I can. Looks like it's not going to become apparent until I jump over. That's fine. We'll take care of it soon enough. Yeah, viewers, that's what I was waiting for. I thought it was going to be already active as soon as I tried to open up that pathway, but I guess not. Well, my idea was actually not this, but look how easy I made this. Yeah, you can actually do this. I found this out while I was doing the part. Um, you can make them fall into the river and they no longer threaten you, so way to go. The only problem is they don't drop anything if you, uh, if you throw them into the river. kind of sucks, but for what it is, I'm willing to avoid the conflict. We'll get plenty of treasure soon enough, as it is. Don't need it. Don't need it. I got something else on my mind. Something very, very horrific. Related to a possible luchador. Leon is not ready to handle a Mexican wrestler. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Oh, man. We're getting that close, viewers. We can actually go into the church. But um, we're going to have to make our way to you. Anyways, you just keep going forward. And uh, believe it or not, it's not a bad idea. I say this because it's actually a shortcut. It's a shortcut to something fantastic. These damn bats need to get out of my face. Oh, man. I just need to go down the river. Yeah, it's kind of a little secret passage. I like it. I like little secret passages. Oh man, see that blue fire? You know what that blue fire means. You saw that fish. Can't really get that fish, unfortunately, so that, that kind of sucks. But yeah, we got Merchant Man again. He makes a, a second appearance. Good things on sale, stranger. <sighs> what are you selling? Oh man. I got, I got a little bit of treasure, ah, specifically this one. I'll week. buy it at a high price. So, <laughs> thank you. What are you buying? <laughs> All right, so if I wanted to be a cheap bastard, I could get this rocket launcher. It's a, it's a beautiful item. Can actually one-hit kill bosses. I know what you're thinking. Why am I bringing up the fact of bosses again when we just fought one? There's a reason for it, viewers. Which we will get into in the next part. I'm going to end it off here. It's kind of a long part. Okay, see you later.